What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we're going to be talking about NBA 2K23, my team, and something that a lot of people are really annoyed about, I'm going to put a lot of, put things kind of into perspective, and it's this right here. You guys can see, these are the same price as seller packs, and it's now, they're now going to be called turbo packs. So, basically what it seems like is now, Tuesday packs are going to be replaced by turbo packs, and... I think this puts to bed one of the like theories when it comes to Tuesday packs that Jazz had that like super packs sell more than Friday packs because if they did then they would have never changed it. Um, it puts to bed that theory, which I I never believed in the first I never believed in the first place. But what the reason why people are like with super packs the reason why I think they did super packs was I actually believe that Tuesday packs sold so little that there was no point putting them as of right now there was no point putting them in the game that they would rather double up on Friday packs and have people only really care about Friday packs and just basically re-release stuff in Super Packs, re-release content like this so on Tuesday. So if people wanted to open Tuesday packs, they could. But I think that it probably sold... I, I wouldn't be surprised if this outsells the previous Tuesday packs. I wouldn't be surprised if the Super Packs sold a very similar amount to, um, to like Tuesday when it's new content, but also without taking effort away from other content. Like... I'm guessing by removing Tuesday packs, it allowed them to do the spotlight grind. I'm guessing by removing Tuesday packs, it allowed them to put in all these free cards on a daily basis. That is my whole prediction, is that it sold so little that it wasn't worth putting their time towards. And this kind of doubles that, this kind of sums it all up as well, is that we are seeing um, recycled packs. So if Super Packs did sell, like every like some people believe that they did, that they were the biggest sellers, we would have seen Super Packs today. We didn't. So obviously, um, we're seeing this right here. 2K are trying a bunch of new things on Tuesday packs. They really are when it comes to Tuesdays. Um, Tuesday packs to try to get people to buy them. I actually think this is probably going to be their highest sale right here. And let me explain why. And also what I think might happen. So you see the way these all these have their, their odds now. A 10% chance at a dark matter. As well as a 20 or 15% chance at 95 plus because of the... Um, is it a bonus? You know what I think that that's going to do? It's going to make, make a lot of people um, want to get, like, obviously want to open these packs because they have a, they want to get a chance to take them. They also have Zion and J.R. Smith because, again, these are the best odds you're going to get this year, regardless of Super Packs, not Super Packs. They are the best odds. Tatum, especially because of how rare Tatum is because of the... There's way more Tatums now. You're seeing loads of people putting up their Tatums. So, basically, like, you're actually seeing almost as many Tatums here as there were when Tatum was released. Like, this is at the four-hour mark. You guys have seen almost as many Tatums here as there were when they were released. So, people are really into this, by the way. We see Super Packs, you don't see these numbers. Hey, look, there are four Zions ending in a minute. This is literally the crap that you see the, the second these cards are released. So, people who open packs love this idea. It is clear. The people that are opening packs absolutely love what has happened. Iggy massively down in price jay rich massively down in price now, i want to see are these the cheapest pink diamonds in the auction house now let me see what the cheapest pink diamond is now it's they've completely are completely tanking the auction house but from 2k's perspective it's clear from just looking at the auction house they are selling way more of these packs than any super packs any tuesday packs they sell because tuesday packs never really sell that what they're doing right now is selling way more and lads next week yao is in these by the way Okay, so there's none for like under 20. There might be a bot on these. There's definitely a bot on these. There's definitely a bot on these at 20. Because um, there's so many a little bit above. That's Yao Ming. Let's not forget that. Yao. Yao. The Yao Ming is going to be in these packs next week. So I have a weird theory and people aren't going to like to hear it. I think that everyone who got banned is going to get their, their accounts wiped. I think I have a weird theory about that. Because... I think if people get their accounts wiped when they're banned for purchasing MT and they need to want to build up their collection and suddenly there are packs with VC to give them a great chance of getting Yao Ming, I think a lot of those guys are going to buy VC. I think it's going to happen. As much as I don't want it to happen, because again, I have an account banned and I really don't want that account wiped because I got likes of Badia and stuff. I don't want that account wiped. I think, I think they're going to wipe accounts. I think they're gonna wipe accounts and i think we're gonna i think because of that they're gonna need to do this because i think you know the way like if you guys don't know tatum was extinct tatum was extinct last week 
Like, remember when everyone was talking about how banning people made cards extinct? As there are more Tatums on the market than there... There is as many Tatums on the market as there was the day he came out. You can see, this is when the packs came out, by the way. One hour ago. There were four Tatums up in the hour previously. And that was people trying to sell their Tatums. And now it's just Tatum, 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 Tatum. Tatum, 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 Tatum everywhere. Same with Zion. Like, I'm just gonna um, tweet this out right here. Like, Tatum and Zion were extinct. Were extinct after the bans. Um, Super Packs last week did nothing. Did nothing. However, now there are as many of both on the auction house as there was the day that they were released in packs. I understand people not liking, not liking recycled content, but it clearly sells. Like, it is an incredibly smart decision from 2K. And I have to, like, I don't think it's bad for the player. Tatum is now, like, everyone's like, oh, this is bad for the player. Tatum was extinct last week. I think the only, there is no negative to this. And anyone being like, oh, if you pull one of these good cards, you don't get as much MT back. But, like, for example, if you sold Ben Simmons, say Ben Simmons was a mill. Say if he was a mill. And you sold Ben Simmons for a mil. But then Scotty was 800k. But now all of these guys are cheap. So if you sell Ben Simmons for 300k and Scotty's 200k, in terms of like ask, like ratios, you're actually technically making more off selling Ben Simmons for 300k. So 300k now is going to be worth more than um, a mil would have been worth previously. I think that again, they're going to clamp down on... Um, Clamp down on this on the I think on watch on the empty sound they're gonna clamp down. I think they're really really gonna clamp down, and I think that this is their start. I think that if they wipe the accounts or they get super super like fast with those thirty days, I think that this is perfect because it takes away the biggest excuse people have for bu for buying empty. Um, the excuse of like of quote unquote like. I couldn't, um, I couldn't pull these cards in packs. When now it's extreme, not only, it's extremely likely you pull these cards if you open a 50 bucks, or if you open a 20 bucks. It's extremely likely you get the cards you want. And if not, the cards are way cheaper anyway, so if you can accumulate the MT, it's better. And for a lot of people, they're like, oh, but like, what about the no money spent guys? This is better for no money spent guys. For no money, most no money spent players, just a heads up. Most no money spent players don't, everyone's like, oh, but like, you couldn't get the 5 million MT without badging up all these cards and selling them it's hard to do that and people don't have the mt to buy them for that much anymore it's like why you don't need five million mt anymore like you used to need five million mt by the way when yao ming was three million mt you used to need five million mt but when yao ming is gonna be 800k and like there's five yao mings in the market next week when yao ming is down to 800k because so many people are opening packs for him and the supply the demand for yao goes way down he's 800k he's a lot more attainable for no many spent players then trust me next week yao is gonna be under a mil I'm telling you this right now. He has me under a million next week. He's three, two, three million right now. He's under a million next week. This is not, unless your attitude towards everything is you don't want 2K to make money. If you don't want 2K to make money, then I understand. This is a really, really bad thing for you. Um, If you are somebody that is looking at the grant, the whole picture and thinking that this is encouraging more people to gamble, I actually think that there's there's merit to that argument. I think that is a that is a negative and there is merit to that argument. I actually think that maybe it'll cause it might cause more people to dip their toes in gambling, but because of the less like the less of a gambling high, where it's not like a one in a million thing if you pull like a, a Simmons, it's like a one in ten chance. So I think lowering the gambling high will create less problem gamblers from something like this because it lowers the endorphin rush from pulling one of these cards because it's expected. But again, that's we can go back and forth with that argument all day. 
Um, but I think that is the only negative argument with this, or if you're just like anti 2K and everything, because for no money spent players, the cards are cheaper. If you're someone who just plays the game and gets accrues your MT from playing the game, the cards are cheaper, they're more attainable. Simple as. For guys that like to spend money on packs, you're a hell of a lot more likely to get something good, whether it's untradeable or not, unless your goal for packs is to turn packs into MT. But like, what's the point of turning packs into MT if you get the cards anyway? If you are a 250k qualifier and you want your 50 Hall of Fame badge cards, I do feel sorry for you, but that is 32 people in, or 64 people in a game of tens of millions, or seven tens of millions, in a game of millions. Um, so it is what it is. Um, I do feel bad for them because it is objectively a bad thing for them, but at the end of the day, I don't think anyone should expect something to be built for 100 people and when a million people play the game. Um, and for guys like myself who... Is my biggest thing is I just want to use as many cards as possible. And you, the cheapest way of doing that used to be purchasing MT because I could control what I wanted. Even though I hate gambling, I would I just want the cards more than anything for content. And the cheapest way of me doing that is now probably going through VC. It is what it is. So as I hate to say it, it is what it is. So maybe that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.